Hi, my little Einsteins. It's me, your teacher, Miss Erin, here to teach you all about how to read an analog clock. As you can see, I have an example right up here on the board. Lime green shorthand is the hour hand. So that tells you what the hour is. So when you read a clock, you would say, oh, it's 3 o'clock. So the hour hand would be the 3. It would point to the 3. The blue hand that's pointing down to the six is the minute hand. So for the minutes on this clock, it's a little different. One is five minutes, two is 10 minutes, three is 15 minutes, four is 20 minutes, five is 25 minutes, six is 30 minutes, seven is 35 minutes, eight is 40 minutes, nine is 45 minutes, 10 is 50 minutes, 11 is 55 minutes and 12 starts the hour over, so it's zero, zero. So this clock says 2.30. Because the green hand is pointed at the 2 and the blue hand is pointed down to the 6, which is the 30. If you can see that really, really small red hand is the second hand. You don't really say what the second is because it changes every second. In between the 1 and the 2 right here it says from each big, bold number, it's 5 minutes. So one is five minutes, two is 10 minutes. So in between, you would have six minutes, seven minutes, eight minutes, nine minutes. And each minute changes when the red hand gets the, starts at the 12 and gets all the way around back to the 12. So it goes in a circle. Okay, so let's try one. The time up here says 545. And I know that because five is the hour, 45 is the minute. So we start with doing the hour, which is the lime green. So if it's five, you count to no the five on the clock. One, two, three, four, five. So you do a short little hand pointing to five. So that says it's five. 45 is the minute, as I said. So you start at the one which is five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, 35 minutes, 40 minutes, 45 minutes. So you would take the blue marker for the minute hand and draw a long line from the middle all the way to the nine because that's where 45 minutes is. Then you don't actually draw the second hand on when you do the clock. You can just see it on a normal clock, which I'll point out to you in the classroom tomorrow. But if you want to put on the second hand, you know, just do a little, whoop, a little second hand. So the second hand goes the fastest around the clock because once it goes from 12 to 12, it starts a new minute. So when the minute hand goes from 12 to 12, it starts a new hour. Now, take out your worksheet that I handed you guys today that says clockwork practice. You have six clocks to time. So look at the top, and the first one says 3.30. So you find where the 3.30 would be on the clock. So we'll do the first one together. So the hour hand is three. So you would count to three. One, two, three. So you would draw a line, a small line for the hour. Then you would go to the 30. So where is 30 on this clock? If you said at the 6, you're right. Because it goes 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So the minute hand is the long hand. So now do the next 5 all by yourself and I'll check them tomorrow morning. Tomorrow in class, surprise, we're going to play bingo with clocks. You each get, all of these are empty clocks, and you get to put in your own time. And you have to write them with the analog clock. You get one free space. Just don't let me forget to tell you. I hope you guys learned a lot. If you need any help, you can ask your mom or your dad, or you can ask me tomorrow morning. Have a nice night.